All right. It is now live. The Rise of the Shadows expansion just dropped a couple minutes ago. Here to open up some packs today. Hopefully get lucky. It is also a new Hearthstone year. Year of the Mammoth is out. Is it the Year of the Dragon, I believe, this year? Oh, sorry, Year of the Raven. Wait. Wait. Is it the Year of the Mammoth, then Raven? It was Raven, then Dragon. Mammoth, Raven, Dragon. That's what it was. Sweet. Big, ex big, uh... Sets going to wild. Yep. Big rotation happening. Yeah. Alright. A lot of really strong core cards that are leaving. Three huge expansions. These expansions were probably the most time I played in Hearthstone, so it's going to be weird missing a bunch of these major cards that have been around for so long. Doesn't feel like two years. It feels like a lot longer than that they've been in the game, to be honest. Alright, and we also have the Hall of Fame rotation. Get some dust. Crafted all these gold. It's like I have the gold copies for a while, because I do sometimes play wild, and I like just having a, as many golden cards as possible. Some of them already had gold. Crafted these gold as well. Goodbye. I don't think anyone's sad about that. Uh... Crafted that one gold, didn't craft these two gold because one didn't have the dust and two that card's never ever been played. I don't even know if that card's ever been played. This is like yikes. Woo! There we go. Alright. 14k dust. Like I said, I had the golden versions of them. Spent my dust, got refunded back. But let's just get opening packs. Oh, 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 okay. Let's get out of here. What? A little... Okay, get some packs, apparently. Yeah, the client is always glitchy the first day. Uh, I thought we got some free packs or free legend. Well, we everyone got the free neutral minion, the 2-6. Recast a spell, you cast this turn. That was a big one everyone got. But, let's buy... Whoa. Plus, there's this. The bundle as well. Mm, that might be worth it. I'll have to think about that one. I didn't get to think about that one as much. But let's... I finally learned from last year... Oh! Uh, see, that's the dragon I want right there. That's the legendary... The 10 cost card. But I learned last year how to actually buy these. Whoa, look at that. Got 9,000 gold I'm going to be spending. Plus my 131, so we're gonna have about 220 packs. Let's buy. Yes. Double click again. I guess we can just do 50. No, we can do 39. 39. Buy. Saved up all that gold from last expansion, and I think I'm gonna buy the Shadow Bundle as well. Uh, what do you get? Arena ticket, nine packs. That's it. Is that even worth it? It's the uh, 60. Uh, I might open those later. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if that's even worth it. 220 packs, though. Let's just get going. Oh, that's a nice animation. Guaranteed legendary in the first 10, as always. I uh, got a lot of packs. So let's not waste much time. I'm not going to. Normally I like to hover over them, you know, and see what I get before, but that's just going to take way too long. Uh, I'm hoping for that, like I said, that mage legendary. That seems like it's going to be really good. Uh, just hoping for lots of legendaries, epics, anything like that. Golden cards. I'm really excited about this uh, about this expansion. See, there's a lot of I, oh, there's the legendary. Nice, I wanted that one. That seems like it's gonna be a good one. After you cast a choose one spell, add copies of both choices to your hand. Two mana, two three. With that ability, I think it's 
got a real chance to be played. So I'm happy with that one. The, the more cards I can... <clears throat> oh, that's going to be a good card. I'm glad I got that. The more cards I can open myself and not have to craft, the better. Hopefully I get all, all, the, all the good legendaries. Hunting party. Copy all beasts in your hand for five mana. Oof, I don't know. That's gonna might be too too slow. Might be too slow. Uh. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Right, okay. Let's get rolling here. Oh, don't you get golden legendaries? I hold on. I may have to. Oh, jeez. I was supposed to, because I got the big Mega Bundle. Oh, nice, another Devastator. I got the Mega Bundle. I thought I was supposed to get a Golden Legendary. Maybe it just gave it to me here. Uh, I wanted to save this to the end, but let's see if I got... Where's my Golden Legendary? Oh, there it is. See, it didn't tell me. How disappointing. Boom Master, Blast Master Boom. Summon two one one boom bots for each bomb you have in your opponent's deck. Uh, maybe probably maybe not the worst legendary to get, but not the best either. Let's be honest. And then oh, here's my other one that I was supposed to get for my other bundle. In the I believe it was Boom's Day, for this, both two bundles you got a golden legendary from each, which is a. I mean I was really happy about that, but for this for Rumble. They only had the one bundle, and for this, the, you had the two bundles again, which I bought, but only the Mega Bundle gave the Golden Legendary, so. But, summon a copy of a minion from your deck, give it Rush. Mm, maybe. 10 mana, 7, 9, I don't know. Okay. Well, there's my cards. Let's. Whoa, 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 Back we go, back we go. Okay, well, that was disappointing. I thought I was going to pop up, but it didn't. Yeah, like I said, like the first day, or at least right on a half bad pack, the first day that an expansion comes out, client's always messed up, laggy, things don't pop up, slow. I mean, there's tons of people online. Ball busting packs at the same time, buying packs. Uh, so speaking of buying packs, though, I bought the two bundles. And then I spent all my gold, and this this should be the only packs I'm gonna need to buy for this expansion. Because the the best way to go about things is if you are gonna buy packs, you should buy them. Like if you plan to buy packs anytime during a expansion's lifetime, you should buy it in the beginning. So, uh, so let's say you know you open some packs, you craft something that you need. And then you open up packs in the future, you might pull what you already crafted. It's hugely inefficient when it comes to your dust. So if you know Soul the Murloc. Murloc's making a comeback, it looks like. Uh but I'll talk about that later. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, it's hugely inefficient to do it that way. So if you know you you plan on buying your minions with Wind Fury have Mega Wind Fury. What's Mega Wind Fury again? I kinda forget. Is that when you can attack all the minions? Attack a minion, you can attack again, I think. I have no idea. I don't know what the hell is going to happen with that. Uh, yeah, it's hugely inefficient. Trust me, I've done that before where, you know, remember a deck required Soul Thrays from it's the Warrior Weapon from Rostakhan's Rumble. And I didn't have it, crafted it. I ended up pulling a golden one. I don't know just from like a pack from like a daily quest or whatever. And, you know, that felt bad, you know, 400 dust gone. But obviously, you know, you can't kick yourself too much for opening free packs. But, you know what I'm saying though. If you plan on opening packs, you should open them in the beginning. And then, then craft what you need after that. So that you're not, you know, you know, op busting open something that you already crafted. So that just feels bad. So I think, number, t I think I saw, you need about 250 packs or so to get a full collection. That includes the extra dust crafting the missing cards. So, and I don't... Oh, nice. That looks like a great card. It's like a... 
kind of uh, dirty rat esque. I know it's another card that's like dirty, dirty rat. Uh, your opponent casts a random spell from their hand. Sweet, that is awesome. Obviously, combo disruption. Obviously, you can have the downside to it. It's not, it's not, you know, without its possible drawbacks, just like Dirty Rat was. And Dirty Rat was awesome. Those kind of anti combo busting, you know, control tech cards. You know, I feel like we were missing them for a long time. You know, a lot of people, I think a lot of epics. I'm really happy about that. Because the epics are what kills you when it comes to comes to uh, crafting cards. Like for Roscon's Rumble, I opened I think under, just under 200 packs, and I still was missing tons of epics, and it felt horrible. Like, and I had to use that dust to craft those golden cards, so it was brutal. I couldn't play some decks. Like uh, I wanted to play Odd Mage, the kind of control variant, and I need a Blast Wave. And oh, nice, look at these. I'm liking this. We're getting a lot of epics here. At the end of your turn, summon a random six cost minion. Oof, 10 mana 6-6. Six, six. That is. I did not see that seeing any play. It has Arena written all over it. Uh. I don't know where I was going, but. That, oh, yeah, I, need, I was missing a lot of epics still. It just felt horrible. Like, goddamn, like, do I have to buy more packs? But, you know, it just didn't make sense to, to buy more packs, you know. You can. Another epic, awesome. Uh, shuffle three portals into your deck when drawn. Someone, what the? That does not seem good. Uh, yeah. You, Hearthstone can be an expensive game if you're not careful, and I think the best thing is to go into it, you know, knowing how much you're willing to spend on it. And for me, I know there's three expansions a year. Uh, and if I save up my gold in between. Plus buying the bundles, you know, depending on how many they offer, either the one or the two. Because the bundles, when it comes down to it, on a you know pack per dollar basis of real life money, they're they're the best value you get in the game. Like buying just the normal packs, oh god, that is that hurts doing that. So you know, buying the bundles. Uh. Heal Druid, looks like that's trying to be a thing. You know, but the bundles are just a great value. I think if you are going to drop money in the game, like, the bundles, they're kind of, they're a no-brainer. Plus, you do get the, oh, another golden, golden common. Silence a friendly minion, then summon a copy of it. What in the hell? Uh, switched in cards. But yeah, I think that's, that's kind of my strategy. Buy the one or two bundles they release. Uh, oh, that looks like a fun card. Mass Resurrection. Oh my god. They really like the res kind of archetype of Priest. And another epic. Another Saboteur. Awesome. I would love a golden copy of him because, you know, he's going to see a lot of play. I can tell. And just having, pulling golden epics and, you know, that they're actually playable. It's just awesome. You know, I've never, I don't, I've never crafted a golden card yet. Besides the like Hall of Fame cards. Because... Even though I do pull a lot of packs, I don't. I don't even have a full collection. So, you know, I save my dust for opening what I need, what I'm missing when it comes to you know trying out a new deck or something. So, I'm not at the stage where I can be crafting golden cards. I don't think I'll ever get to that stage because to get to that stage, one either you spend a lot of money on the game, or you're just kind of you know you're opening like 300 plus. Oh. Nice. So it's been a while since we pulled a legendary. Your secrets tr trigger twice. Three mana, four, three. Awesome. I'm really excited to try that card out too. Pulling some good legendaries, I'm happy with that. But yeah, some people are opening like 300 plus packs where it's like they're going to have all the cards. They're literally just pulling for dust and golden cards. And I just can't justify spending that much money on the game just for, just for cosmetic stuff. Silence all adjacent minions. Trying to make Silence Priest a thing or something. I don't know. This, this looks like some, some fun cards. I'm really, I haven't looked at all the cards because I'm trying to watch all the analysis videos about cards releasing, and they only release like, you know, a couple of week. And it's like, oh, more, more, more gold, and I'm liking this. It's like, it's so hard, and like, the, the to keep up with all of it, 
135 cards, and plus the analysis are always so long. Like, I watch Kibler, and I really like his content. He uploaded a full, like, a series of videos, like a full, like, review, and it was four hours, almost four hours long. Like, the, the day or two before Jumbo Imp. Copy, cost one less whenever from the minion dies with this in your hand. Now that's, I think that can see play for sure. Really glad I pulled that. We'll see uh, how good tr Treant uh, Druid is. I, I honestly, I really like the uh, Token Druid. That was before the nerf to to uh, Wild Growth and Nourish. I really loved, loved, I did love playing the Token Druid. It was kind of an annoying deck because, you know, if you were playing against it, you weren't able to clear. You know, there's there's so many, you know, buff cards, whether it be Savage Roar, Power of the Wild, uh, Branching Paths, like it was, you know, you, you leave one one board on, and then you, just, you could just be dead the next turn. But that was kind of the fun part of it, you know, trying to get that board to stick, using things like Soul of the Forest. You know, it was a lot of fun, but yeah, we are we did lose some cards. Obviously, the nerf hurt it. I actually used it to win kind of a ooh, another legendary archivist. Alicia, Alisiana, discover five cards. Replace your deck with two copies of each. Uh, seems kind of more like a meme card than a powerful card that we see play standard. But we'll you know, we'll see. Yeah, I actually used Combo, or Token Druid was actually one of the decks I used to, for a little Awesome! Look at that, was that back-to-back? -back? I think that might have been back-to-back, -back. and a, and a, epic. Fell Lord Bootrug. Bootrug? I don't know. When you draw a minion, summon a copy with Rush that dies at the end of this turn. Uh, some potential, maybe. Duel. Summon a minion from each player's deck they fight. Kind of like a Mimi, like five mana. Come on, I mean you might be able to do something with that, but I don't know. So that's like a card that, like you know, kind of like two or three months in, you know, someone finally, you know, finding something that can work. People might be trying that first day, trying you know, mess around with it, but like I think it's gonna take a while before we really figure something out with that. Transform into a two-two copy of friendly death rattle minion. Hmm. But yeah. Anyway, look, I was saying. Use that deck for a local tournament. Won $150, which is awesome. Which I guess that money goes towards, you know, buying more packs. Well, towards these packs, I guess. And it was a lot of fun playing that deck. It helped me. It did really well for me. Uh, I think a lot of people end up banning it because uh, it was it was a very strong deck at the time, and it's probably one of my highest win rates on ladder. Uh, Hench Clan, not Thug, Hag. So two one one amalgams with all minion types, and it's a neutral card. Hmm, might see some, I don't know, Murloc or something. Usually Murlocs they take advantage of the travel tags the most. They have really strong synergy cards. Nice. We are losing Megasaur. That's a big blow to uh, to the Murloc package. Look at all these golden cards. Crystal power. The choose ones come in, uh, coming back a bit. Deal two damage to minion or restore five health. Back kind of to the heal, heal druid thing. Dude, oh my god. I'm sure we are all annoyed the past two years of all the armor the druid got. And how, you know, on top they were for so long. Yeah, was it ferocious hell? Branching paths. UI. I had two golden UIs. I'm going to be sad and losing those, to be honest. I think I pulled one, and one was a monthly reward. So that, that's what I was talking about, how, you know, it's fun having usable golden epics. You know, usually, there's a lot of epics that are just horrible, and, you know, I tend to get in the top five. Alright. No, nice. Golden twin spell. Try to make that tree ant work. I'm liking that, liking that. Oh, what was I saying? Yeah, the I tend it's pretty easy to get in the top, you know, rank look, more epics. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Pretty it's pretty easy to get in the top five, rank rank five that is, so you get the golden epic at the end of the month. 
And on, honestly, usually they're 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 bad. But I remember I got last not last month, but one before that it was got the golden like tortoise summoner guy. He's like an eight man five four says discover a spell, randomly choose its target. It's just horrible. And it's about to rotate out. I got that as my monthly reward like two months ago. It's like why? One, I'd never use it. Two, even if I did, it was gone. Uh, but the, from this last month, though, I actually did pull the half decent one. I haven't so much played recently, but it has in the past. From, I believe it is Witchwood. It's uh, Book of Spectre. It's got a gold in one of those. So I was, I was pretty happy with that. You know, if you get it something that's like mildly playable, that's golden. Oh, and now the legendary is rolling in. Barista Lynchin? Add a copy of each of your Battlecry minions from your hand. Add a copy of each of your other Battlecry minions from your hand. Mm. Some potential there. But like I said, I'm not really all into the whole like theory crafting thing. More epics. Theory, another Devastator. I mean, that just seems like just a strong card. Four mana, four or five, even if you don't have the Omega. You know, not the worst on its own. Deal 10 damage to a minion. Better than Crowd Roaster. That's awesome. It's gonna be part of like kind of the like control mech, uh, kind of archetype. But without Baku now, thank God, no more, no more tank up. God, I mean, I don't know if rotating them was the best thing. I mean, I to be honest, I would have liked to see. Well, you know, I am kind of glad they're gone. I'm not. <coughs> I didn't use those decks a whole lot, but one I did. Uh, one maybe would have been idea would be to make kind of like Justicar where you, know, you had to find it you know find it and play it and you know instead of just drawing like just starting with it always it's like the odd like the odd paladin oh two goldens twin spell deal one damage uh, okay seems pretty uh, lackluster there not gonna lie uh, I don't even know what I was saying. I forget what I was talking about. Give me those rares. Completely long. Oh yeah, Baku. I think making, you know, playing against Odd Paladin, it was, it was like the same openings every time. It was so annoying. And like, you know, having that huge 9 cost understead of minion in your deck was like no drawback. Because there was only a one of, you didn't have to play it, you know, and very rarely was it a hindrance for you. you know, unless you drew it very early, and you know, but, yeah, so, to be honest, besides, you know, Odd Rogue, the nerf to Cold Blood, you know, Golden, oh, nice. I'm hoping for a couple, like, at least, can we, can I get one Golden Legendary? I think last time I made a video, about an opening, which was for not Boomsday, but uh, yeah, it was Boomsday. I believe I got a couple golden epics. Got the two from the, like bundles, and then uh, I think I pulled at least one. I don't think they were very useful at all. One of them was Boom Ship. I remember that, which I was actually playing some. What was it? Spiteful. I'm losing Spiteful. That's another power card going. I was playing Spiteful Warrior that had the Spellstones. I believe we're losing Spellstones too. It had Spellstone and Boomship as its big spells. And if you don't know what the uh, Warrior Spellstone is, I don't blame you. It's a 7 mana card and it says summon a 5 5, play a weapon to upgrade. So you can upgrade it two more times to make it summon, you know, be a 7 mana summon 3 5 5s. Which in itself isn't. Oh, it's really not that strong. When you play that, when you even get a fully upgraded spellstone, you get those two weapons. It's really, you know, not that powerful. I think it was, but it was a lot of fun because I got to use. Oh, there's a. Uh, it's pretty weak. It's like a kind of a worse uh, power of the wild, but you have the twin spell, twin spell ability. You have to play it again. So that's six mana, two two. Uh, you get health, so it's, you know, not, I don't know, Br losing branching paths for Druid, that hurt for them, but, I don't even know what I was saying, I'm, I've got all over the place, I'll have one idea, and then I see a card, and then it brings me to a new idea, 
Uh, yeah, the only other video I've ever uploaded on this channel was just the, the Boomsday Pack opening, and I didn't do it for Rasticons. Uh, I kind of wish I did, though. And I kind of wish I did it for even just the small bundles they have, you know, like the Mammoth Bundle, the kind of Beginner Welcome Bundle, you know, anything like that, because I, I love watching card pack opening videos. Another Devastator? Maybe not, you know, 400 uh, pack opening videos, but just the small bundles. It's cool to, see, cool to see what people get. And, you know, honestly, for me, it's just kind of fun to look back, you know, uh, and just kind of like rewatch an old video that you made. Uh, it's kind of a little weird when you think about it because you're just hearing yourself talk. Uh, but it's just it's just fun to look back on it, and that's that's why I think I hope I still continue to make these. If anything, just like a time castle type thing, because, you know, I make no delusions that, uh, you know, there's going to be, you know, hundreds or thousands of people watching this, you know. It's just kind of for fun, if a, you know, person or two stumbles upon it. Hopefully they get some mild enjoyment of seeing me, uh, dump my hard-earned money into a virtual children's card game. Maybe. Another epic. Come on, we, I know I'm getting some good legendaries here, but let's come on, let's get. Let's get give me some more. How about that? Give me some more. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm not really stopping to. I mean, I don't think you want me to stop and look at any of these cards, to be honest. It's taking way too long. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm looking for, to be honest. I know a couple of the good legendaries that are out there. Already starting arena. Big man. Yeah, that dragon, though. I'm really looking for. Oh, there we go. Swamp Queen Hagatha. Add a 5 5 horror to your hand, teach it two shaman spells. This seems like. seems okay. Maybe. I mean, maybe Control Shaman's got some life. One of the favorite decks that I like to watch in this last expansion was. Uh, well, competitive Hearthstone that was, was the Peanut Shaman. Maybe it was before Rastacons, I don't quite remember, but it was played by Viper in the cool. See that looks like it's gonna have some good play there too. After you play a Murloc, add a random Murloc to your hand. You know, a lot of the times you're playing a kinda of aggro Murloc thing, kinda of running out of value, running out of cards. You know, this guy's good on turn two and he's good later on too as well. So that's awesome, that's cool. No. Shaman has really gotten the short end of the stick for a long time. For a while now. More golden, huh? That's what I like to see. Twin spell. Oh, I guess, see, now twin spell. I was getting confused for a second. Twin spell isn't. It's like Echo, where you can play another copy, but it's not like Echo is N, as in you have to play it this turn. You can actually hold on to it for another turn, because I was wondering, like, how do you play two of these in the same turn with six mana? So I'm on a 5 5 Wyvern with Rush for. Oh, honestly, I, like, I just. I don't know how good those twin spells are going to be. Like, obviously, they're kind of pushing a more, you know, emphasis on value. So that card just looks like it's going to be strong. You have control secret gains plus one. Like, that's this card's going to get nerfed, or it's going to be, you know, a pain to play against. It's like the new totem golem. But yeah, we'll see. I'm really glad. You know, they're kind of pushing more towards, you know, kind of. Well, it seems like, anyways. I mean, we played anything yet? More, you know, minion combat. Uh, well, that was a nice pack. Three rares and a epic. Okay. Push more kind of like minion combat, incremental value, stuff the Kibler likes, and to be honest, I as well. So we're just getting some nice packs here. Interesting card. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, see, like, the kind of you know combo stuff, like the Res Priest, you know, who's cloning gallery. Oh my God, I I hate that deck. I hate playing against it. Uh, you know, where it's just like, you know, nine mana, I'll win the game. It's just I, it's just annoying, you know. So the kind of value games, I'm looking forward more to those. Restore for health, repeatable this turn. So, I mean, is that not just echo? Repeatable. Why didn't they give it the echo tag? Am I missing something there? It's even got the Witchwood kind of, you know, theme to it. I don't know. They're always messing around with their keywords. Just changing things around. Just gonna keywords. 
Oh, nice. Darkest Hour. Destroy all friendly minions for each one. Summon a random minion from your deck. Okay, so that's like another card where it's like, you know, it's going to take a couple months before, you know, someone finds a deck where that is half decent in. Another p powerful card, I think, well, a lot of people have been saying, if you're holding a card from their class, you gain plus one, plus one, and rush. You know, see, look, two mana, three, four. We all know Totem Golem. Great stat line. Uh, so, yeah, that's... Obviously, has the caveat to it of kind of having the burg burglar rogue kind of archetype deck, but you know we'll see. You know I'm not I'm not really big on kind of crafting my own decks as, as bad as that is. You know I'm a dirty net decker, so I kind I kind of wait to see what other people kind of come up with and try that. Uh, which you know a lot of people get joy from you know the days like this like today like today for a lot of people is like their favorite day to play to try things out everyone else well, most people are trying new things out uh, you know and they can just kind of you know mess around and have fun with the new meta see I'm really not that way uh, I like playing you know decks that have you know been refined a bit. We'll see. Maybe we'll. I'll see what people are posting on Twitter, and streaming, and uh, you know, try and get a, you know, start playing some of the new decks. Because with, you know, it's not like it's just like a new expansion adding more cards. You know, there was the uh, rotation. So like, I can't even play any of my old decks even if I wanted to. I do have to make some changes. So uh, we'll have to see. We'll see what. See what. Uh, how much I play today. Seems also like a strong card. Goes into the kind of Burgle Rogue idea. 100 to go. More than halfway. I think I'm making some pretty good time blasting through these. Oh, another legendary. Awesome. Oh, we got the, the kind of, not titular villain, but, you know, in theme. He's kind of the big theme of the expansion. Replace your hand and deck with legendary minions. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. So yeah, like I said, no, that's like an, a card you're not going to put in right away and find success. That's like a, you know, it's, deck's going to take refinement, you know, discover something new where that can, you know, be made to work in. But, as I was saying, I remember when Angoro came out. I believe I bought, I pre-ordered that, you know. I was excited for it, and then it was a huge rotation. I actually quit not long after uh, Angoro. I remember Quest Rogue was, you know, kind of the scourge of, you know, standard at that time. It was just not fun to play against. I actually quit for a long time. And I came back later. I think I came back when Cobalts just came out. So I missed all of, most of Angoro, and I missed, uh, I missed Cobalts. Oh, sorry. I missed Knights of the Frozen Throne, which has been people's kind of like favorite one. And so I ended up coming back to Hearthstone. I've been playing really you know, pretty cons consistently ever since, and I remember when I came back, I had to, I was really behind, I had to buy a lot of packs to kind of catch up, and, uh, you know, you can kind of see why, you know, people quit, it can be very discouraging to come back, when you're so behind, because if you really do want to catch up, and, you know, be playing the decks people are playing, you know, you have to, you have to spend money to get back. And it could be it could be a lot, but I'm kind I'm glad I did because I do enjoy this game a lot. Oh, uh, first golden epic. Oh, darkest hour. Oh god. Oh god. Like I said, I don't. Will it? Will it never see play? No. I'm not saying that, but. Uh, only golden card sweep. But like that's a card you know I'm not gonna be playing day one. You know, if I get one more golden epic and one gold legendary, I'd be happy. Mass Resurrection. Uh, yeah, really glad the Spellstone's gone for Priest. That was uh, very annoying. But yeah, so oh, you know, hopefully I don't quit this time because you know this is so much on Goro and that there was a big rotation, you know. But oh, there we go. Nice. Come on, golden. Oh, yes. Yes. 
That is awesome. Not only did... You know, I, I don't think I was the other accounts was calling a gold ledger. I was asking for one. But uh, I think a lot of people are pretty excited about this card here with Murloc Shaman. With Scargill. So that at least... I mean, even if he's not, you know, going to be the most playable card, you know, a month from now, where people realize, oh, he's really not that good. I think we'll be playing with him, you know, day one, or the week one. So this is... That's awesome. I'm really happy with that. You know, having just a cool golden legendary. You know, just having cards that are golden that you can play. It's just awesome. Seeing the animations, like actually when you're playing, it's just a lot of fun. You actually, you know, well, not only when they're in your hand, but when you actually play them and then with the animations and stuff. You know, if they generate golden cards, like golden hangathas or whatever, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just fun. I don't know. You gotta. It is kind of. Getting a lot of golden cards, it seems. It is kind of weird, you know, why, you know, just something as simple as you know, having golden variants of the cards, you know, leads a lot of players to spending more money. Nine lives, that seems like a pretty strong card. Have you got to got that one? You know, just like having the golden variants just available in games. You know, a lot of people, well, some people, not a lot of people, that's for sure, they, you know, try to have, you know, full gold collection or, you know, full golden, you know, deck or, you know, whatever, it's just, you know, you know, obviously Blizzard benefits a lot from, you know, seven of the golden variants that don't, you know, it's just cosmetic. It doesn't make any difference in game, but people push for it. I mean, I like having them. I used I used to, just like a lot of people, you know, disenchant the gold cards they got because they were so short on dust, you know, they wanted to play a new deck, and I remember I was trying to play, like, aggro hunter or mid-range hunter or whatever it was and you know having to like you know every pack you get you hope you get something you need and if you don't then you disenchant it to you know craft your next high main or you know your next eagle horn bow or whatever I remember back then nice gain plus two plus two for each other friendly minion Ooh, I don't know about that one expensive card in like token style decks usually doesn't mesh well uh, but yeah, going at, oh look, that's a nice pack, that's a nice pack, no, I already got two of those I believe, you know, with this amount of packs, I should be able to get all the rares, no problem, you know, definitely won't get all legendaries and epics, oh, look at more, another epic, I believe that's the second one of that, I wish the epics functioned the same way as legendaries, in that, you know, if you already had two, you couldn't get, you know, another one until you had them all. Because, like, getting repeat epics when you don't have them all. Oh, is there a bigger punch to the gut, you know, by Hearthstone than that, you know? It's like, come on. It's like, you need the good ones, you know, the good uh, epics, and then you keep getting the crap ones. Freaking 400 dust to craft one? Like, goddamn. It's painful. I wonder how long it's been. Oh, and. Whoo, 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 whoo. Wonder how long it's been since the last legendary? Oh, come on. So, get that dragon. Get 10 minute, 10 mana mage dragon. <laughs> oh. I mean, two for two on kind of, you know, being lucky and ho calling or hoping for half decent legendaries. That is awesome. I mean, that'd be a card that you would absolutely love golden, right? But, you know. Come on, I'm happy with that. Your first spell, your turn, cost zero. Battle cry to cover, discover a spell. Tons of possibilities with that. You know. Like, people are going to try and make that card work for sure. And, you know, we've got two years to make it work, so. We'll see what happens with it. But, you know. I really, I really love the Big Mage archetype. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but obviously, with Jaina being rotated and other cards like. Uh, the Dragon's Fury, uh, Arcane Artificer, uh, the two mana Raven, you know, you know, Joust, you know, if your spell costs more, draw it or whatever. You know, there's a lot of big mage cards and survivability cards in the mage class that are leaving. But I think a lot of people they love they love big mage, you know. Back in the day, having like Reno. Reno Jackson with Kazakis. That was a lot of fun, so. I mean, hopefully, you know, Mage has some good survivability tools. You know, even if not in this expansion, other expansions where, you know, that card, you know, it has such a strong ability. You know, that card will. S oh! <laughs> Holy hell! 
Okay, that was a good pack. Okay, and there that's another uh, legendary card that a lot of people are pretty hopeful for. So that's awesome. I got a lot of legendaries I wanted. Uh, Muck Morpher, transform into a 4-4 copy of a different minion in your deck. Oh, I see that and like, again. That's another card. It's gonna take a while before, you know, someone finds you know any situation where that is even remotely okay, because that just seems just bad. Uh, Togwaggle, in the Rogue class. Uh, so I'm, I mean, I don't have any ideas for him right now, but you know, I'm glad I got him. It has potential to be strong. That's for sure. I'm gonna have some fun playing the Murlocs, that's for sure. Murlocs, probably some of my favorite, you know, kind of, you know, group of cards. Whether that be, you know, Murloc Mage, you know, aggro kind of variant of that, and you know, stuff like Book of Spectres, and just like the strong Murloc package, or Murloc, or yeah, Murloc, uh, Warlock, or Murloc, as it's also called. That's a lot of fun, just kind of like using the strong kind of like you. Alright. Sweet. Using some like, you know, the zoo cards and that, you know, trying with the weapon or the, the button. The hero power. That's a lot of fun. So hopefully you know obviously you have more like Paladin, classic. So hopefully, you know, more like Shaman. Uh pardon me. Sorry. More like Paladin. Or <laughs> Murloc Shaman. You know, it's got some uh some hope for it. We'll see. I know they were trying with cards like, what's that one card? You get it off Hagatha, that's the only time everyone's ever played it. It's like two mana draw, two Murlocs or something. It's like, what? After you play a Murloc, add a random Murloc to your hand. Oh yeah, sorry, I already read that one. I already know that one. Like, some of these cards are just like, just bad. Oh, ho, 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 what? Okay, that is nice. Take a little screen of that one, why not? Uh, transform into two to copy from the minion. That's cool. So three damage to all minions. Taunt death rat. Okay, so that's obviously great. Just kind of neutral taunt defensive card. I mean, awesome. I don't know if that card's gonna be uh, usable, but we'll see. Golden cards cannot complain. Cannot complain. Let's keep going here. Let's keep going. I was hoping for another golden epic. I got it. Uh, they get the. I haven't got the second golden legendary, but they're so rare that it really doesn't make sense to. Uh, you, know, you can't really be that sad if you don't pull two golden leg legendaries out of 200 cards. I don't even know what the rate is, but. Yeah, we just. A couple more legendaries. Get as many epics as we can to fill up the collection. That's what I'm hoping for in these last 50 or so. Uh. I might get that nine pack bundle, but it really didn't seem that amazing to be honest. And I'm not a big arena guy at all. I mean, if anything, it's kind of just like a free pack, so you call it you know, 10 packs. 10 packs for $12 Canadian. And, you know, I'd have to kind of. Another jumbo imp. I'm happy about that. Uh, what is this? Summon two copies of a minion in your deck. Kind of like the recruit thing, but it's a copy. 10 mana. Big warrior. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe card, you know, build a big warrior deck with. Uh, oh, we lost the, lost the recruit mechanic, right? Because that was Cobalt's. So, I mean, re recruit hunter was never really a thing. It was more kind of like a, you know, kind of mean, kind of fun kind of thing. But maybe something with that, with like Boom Ship, you know, having like just big warrior class. You know, finally getting away from stuff like Baku. You know, or to try different things. You know, we'll see. I mean, who knows? Like, like you said, who knows? Like you said. Like I said. Uh, you know. You know, who knows? You know, what's going to be good in this new expansion? A lot of change. A lot of good, neutral, you know, tempo cards going. You know, you got your... Your scale highs, you got your tar creepers, you got your Serenite Chang gangs, you got your fungal mancers. Cards cored a lot of classes that made them, or a lot of decks that made them work. They're going. 
So we'll see. I think it's, it's, it's going to be a big shakeup. A lot of the res cards from uh, from the res priest are gone. So we'll see what happens. I mean, I am to be honest. I am I am kind of sad when rotations happen because it's like you know that it, you know sure you can play you know these versions of these decks in wild, but you be playing against a lot of. After this minion attacks and kills a minion, it may attack again. Eight mana, 312 with rush. Okay. You know, sure you can play that exact same deck in uh, wild, but there's gonna be other like there's the power level of wild is so high, so much higher compared to standard that you know is even viable. This deck that might might have been viable in standard during a certain meta. Hecklebot. Nice. Uh, you know, deck good and standard might not, you know, might not even work in, uh, in wild because you gotta worry about other things, you know. You gotta worry about, you know, the strong aggro of wild, whatever, right? And plus, you know, you know, I thought wild was a great idea, you know, even if you quit, you came back four years. Hmm, sweet. You came back four years later, uh, you know, you could play that your same deck that you wanted to even if it rotated out but they've nerfed so many of the classic cards it's like you know okay well deck i did like two years ago i can't play because you know nourish got nerfed and wild growth got nerfed it's like uh i mean you know kibler has talked about this you know hundreds of times it's like that's just the power or the problem with the power of the classic set you know and i don't know what you do about it to be honest I, I really don't like the idea of nerfing things like those core classic cards because like when you do go to wild it's like well this isn't the same I can't do this I can't do the same thing like I could do anymore so I don't know but again too you don't want to have the same something like standard right where classic never leaves you never want to have the same oh she just kept going there I just kept going Magic Carpet. After you play one cost minion, give it. Oh god, what the hell is that? Uh, whenever you shuffle a card into your deck, add a copy to your hand. Okay, interesting. I don't even know what I was saying, but yeah, we have a you know, good cards in classic, and they never rotate. Oh, look at these epics! I swear we're getting tons of epics here. Uh, another Muck Morpher, great. You know, you need cards that never rotate, and they're you know they're too strong, and they're just you, you see them you know expansion after expansion, year after year. You know, it can get tiresome. So, you know, I don't I don't know what the right answer is. I don't know, but it, it is sad losing decks that you did like to play, and even even I do I you know think I do play a lot of Hearthstone. It feels like sometimes you know, you know oh I wish I could have played that deck you know in this meta for another month. You know what I mean? But like you have the big streamers. Obviously, you know, their job is to, you know, play Hearthstone and produce content that, you know, they play so much that, they, they, you know, they, they play, the, you know, all the games they want to play, you know, and they're ready to move on, you know, so they're always wanting new expansions, but obviously, you know, Golden, nice. You know, they obviously, you know, the bigger kind of, you know, streamer, they, you know, have the money to, you know, you know, they don't have to worry about you know, buying all those new packs come new expansions, you know, so... I don't know. You, like new expansions, they have to happen. I think three a year feels feels good. It feels like it feels like it happens so much sooner than that. It feels like Rosticon's rumble was not that long ago. I feel like it was like last month. Uh, more kind of heal druid uh, synergy there. It feels like Rosticon just came out last month, and then you know, it feels like it's been a month, and then like you start getting announcements for the new one. You're like, Jesus Christ, it's coming again then you gotta drop another you know hundred plus dollars on packs and like I said that's only three times a year and you know I I I you know make plans for how much I'm gonna how many packs I'm gonna open up how much I'm gonna spend you know so that you know I don't come to regret it later and you know let let kind of let it get away from you you know how much you're spending on it you know I think Saving up my gold all throughout the expansion, getting you know hopefully you know seven eight thousand gold by doing just a daily quest every day, and plus buying those bundles which are just the best value. I you know plus that extra dust you get you know 
with the extra cards, you know, just chaining extra cards, it served me, I think that combo, I, I can't think of a better one to be honest, best kind of like value to, uh, you know, to be, able, to be able to enjoy Hearthstone but not spend, you know, crazy amounts of money. And that, that works well for me. And that way I'm able to keep, you know, I don't really have to disenchant, you know, uh, golden cards because I, d I do like them. I do like them. Uh, so that's kind of, that, that's been my strategy. You know, that way I'll, I'll know how much I'm going to spend kind of in the year. And, you know, that's the best way to do it. Have a budget, you know what you're going to do, and so you're not going to be upset. You're not going to regret it, like I said. Alright, come in the last 20 or so. Time has just been flying by. We have 200 plus packs already. Can we get one more legendary? I think we're due for a legendary. How about that? Plus, there's those. Oh, I feel like I got tons of golden cards. Draw the lowest. Whoa. Draw the lowest cost of meaning from your deck. Give it plus two, plus two. Uh, I think that that's got some potential by the looks of it. Maybe. You know, maybe I'll look back a year from now and go, I've never ever seen that card played. What was I thinking? The Zul scheme. I don't know how good the schemes are going to be. I don't know. Sometimes they release different mechanics that just fall on their face and no one ever uses them. Like they're, just, they're just bad. I'm trying to think. Uh, one off the top of my head where it's just like another, like, deal one damage to all minions? What are we doing here? I can't really think of one on the top of my head where it's like mechanic just like just did not work. It's kind of like me mechanic in a way. But there are obviously there are cards that use. I'm oh, sorry, mechanic, magnetic. There are some magnetic cards. Obviously, Zilliax, That's the huge one. But even card or decks that don't even run any max besides Zilliax but use Zilliax because it's just a strong card. Probably one of the best cards uh, out right now. But. Yeah, you have stuff like uh, I loved the kind of control paladin with mech, with mecha, mecha egg or whatever. That was a lot of fun. Using uh, the seven mana card, revive three mechs. That used a little bit of mech, but really the mech thing never really didn't really take over the game. And probably kind of good it didn't, to be honest. Cause that would just just be annoying. It's kind of it's kind of like just a little little thing on the side that you kind of bring in. Here and there. Oh, another epic. Nice. We could pack. Nice. I think I already have two of those. Come on. Eight packs left. Let's pull one more legendary. Plus, like I was saying, they have the kind of quest system when new when new expansions come out to give you some free packs as well. I think I saw get up to nine packs from that. So, you know, I'm not gonna record those, but I'll uh. I think I already have my second one. We have some more packs there, so hopefully I get lucky again and uh, get some get some good stuff. I mean, what I'm hunting for now, Chef Nomi. Nah, J.K. People didn't rate that card very high. It's been almost an hour since this thing came out. I believe I already have two of those. So it took, took a while to open these, but I did have a lot of packs. But I think I was pretty good at not, you know, just messing around and, you know, I just think I was pretty quick at opening. But I do like opening packs. It is, it is, you know, you don't get to do this too often, so it is kind of nice to take your time sometimes. But I am recording it, so it has to be somewhat reasonable. Last pack, come on. Go a little slow on this one. Last card? No. No, no last pack. Heroics. But let's take a look at the collection, see what we got. Now, unfortunately, I did already have to press new. So let's go Rise of Shadows. Let's see what we got. Let's go let's put the craft thing on, see what we missed. Uh, only got one of those. That just seems bizarre. I don't know <laughs> what the hell that, that's gonna do. Uh, didn't get the Druid Legendary. Go dormant, restore five health, awaken this minion. Okay, 
part of the heal heal package. Okay. Uh, we got one nine lives. Can death rattle? Oh, we lost uh, make it the, the the devil sword egg. That's a sad one. We'll see if death rattle still has any more legs to it. You know, death rattle hunter that is. Didn't get any of these legendaries. Uh, summon a mech from your hand and triggers death rattle. And I have no idea what weapon that is. Did I get the, the second druid? Uh, is there two legendary druids? It was the two mana card, right? Okay, I did get that one. Yeah, okay. Moving on. Cadgar. Didn't get that. Your cards that summon minions summon twice as many. Hmm. Maybe I got four of these. Come on. That just hurts. That just looked horrible, so I'm glad I didn't get that. Awesome, I got that. Got 8,000 dust, too. Well, that's probably the most dust I've ever had if I disenchanted. 22,000, awesome. I can definitely craft whatever, uh, whatever I'm needing here. Really happy I got that. Uh, oh, I'm, I am sad I didn't get that. That seemed like it was going to be a fun card. I love that kind of give all dragons in your hand plus three plus three. That seems like you know maybe like a kind of controlling druid kind of thing you know. Having a card like this restore both heroes sorry restore both yeah both heroes health to full to full health. See that that this card I'd be very hesitant to craft you know even if there was a deck for it because you know that's I don't know maybe there will be a fun deck where that is used I don't know we'll see. Uh, I didn't get that. Discover a card. See, you know, knowledge is power in this game, but uh, I don't know how really realistically how good that, how important that is. At the end of your turn, someone. Okay, I'm really sad I didn't get that. To be honest, that seems. I mean, that just seems annoying. To be honest, see, it comes back to the, the res, the res priest. Someone a friendly mini of the day of this game. Like six eight, six, eight mana six eight. You know. It can be taken out, but that's just annoying. Uh, got the Togwaggle, happy about that. Got the other guy. Uh, destroy a minion, gain a bonus effect in your hand. Gains a bonus effect. Oh, I don't know what that is. I don't know enough about that. Uh, got a golden one of him, awesome. I'm so happy. Oh, okay, I got, I got pretty much all the Shaman cards. I did get all the shaman cards. Golden Scargill. Oh, I can't I can't wait to play him. That's gonna be I just hopefully that's fun. Hopefully that deck is half decent at least. The warlock cards look pretty pretty awful to be honest, and luckily for me I got both the uh, legendaries. Sarcasm, by the way. Happy I got all those, I guess. I mean it's good just to have all the cards. Uh got my golden boom. Blast Master, Blast Master Boom. We'll see. We'll see what happens with him. Uh, time for the neutrals. So I got a pretty good amount of uh, of just you know golden cards. So I'm happy. Got two saboteurs. Awesome. Really happy about that. Didn't get a Chef Nomi. A lot of people. You know, we're thinking that card probably not going to be that good. Not sad about that. Uh, got three of each of those. Cool. And didn't get a Joy Buzz. Draw two minions from your deck. Set their attack and health and cost to one. Some combo shenanigans by the looks of it. Okay, well that's it. 8,000 dust. Got a good amount of the cards. So I think that I'm going to be set. Oh, look at all these. Can't even play one of them. Can't play one deck. Big rotation. It's an exciting day. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you guys pulled some good cards. You got what you're looking for. Have some new fun. And uh, I hope that you have fun in the new expansion. And um, that's going to be it for me. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you made it this far, uh, there might be something wrong with you. So uh, have a good one.